Yo, what's going on guys, Digno here, and in today's video, I'm quickly going to be going over my render settings for Vegas Pro 16. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos where people just fuck up the render settings completely, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to be showing you the different like, options for rendering and just sort of how it changes your video. So, uh, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is head up to file right here and then click on properties. And uh, once you're here, you're going to want to change your width and height. It doesn't really matter, but I would recommend changing the uh, the width to uh, 2516 and the height to 1440. This is obviously the 2K resolution. You can also change it to 4K, which would be 3560 3, by 2560 or something. I don't fucking know. It's something like that. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend you just, if you're using, or if you're just going to render a normal height video, I'd recommend using uh, this resolution right here. And of course, you have a frame rate. You need to set it at 60. Just set it on 60. No, yeah, just set it on 60, all right? Trust me. And for stereoscopic 3D mode right here, uh, you can use this if you want to do some uh, RGB separation. You can put it on uh, Red Cyan down here, but there are some way better plugins to use for this. And so I'd just recommend you put it on off. Uh, otherwise, it's going to fuck up your saturation settings, and that's just not something you want, really. So uh, for picture format, you're going to want to set it to 8-bit. And uh, you don't really want to change any of these right here. Uh, full resolution rendering quality, put that at best, obviously. Obviously, otherwise this is going to be completely ignored up here and motion blur type Gaussian We just put it on Gaussian. None of these really it's just bad. Just put it on Gaussian, alright? Uh, the interlate method none uh, it, Otherwise it increases render time uh, Resample mode disable resample 100% no matter what you do Disable resample it is so important. It is so so important. Otherwise it creates a uh, so it's sort of a This is sort of a ghost look to your video it's like a motion blur, but very, very bad, and it just fucks up a video completely. So do not enable resample. Please, please do not enable resample. And uncheck this, otherwise it's just going to completely ignore all of these and just uh, do the ones. Or if you import a 720p clip, it's going to put the, uh, the project to 720. So make sure this is unticked. And obviously pre-rendered files folder, you can just do that whatever you want. Obviously I'm pretty long storage right now, but you can put this, you know, whatever you want really, whatever you have storage. And uh, start all projects with these settings. You can check that if you want. Uh, I found that it does it anyway, but I would definitely recommend you put this on. So if we go up here to audio, uh, you're gonna wanna copy these. So master bust mode, we put it on stereo. Uh, make sure to do that. If you're rendering in like 8D, you're gonna put it to 5.1 surround. But if it's just a normal video, just put it on stereo. And number of stereo is zero. Uh, I don't think this matters too much if you're just rendering a normal high dev video. So you should be fine. Uh, sample rate, hertz, uh, 48,000 is good enough. Honestly, you can probably put it to higher if you're interested in that. However, this is more than what YouTube can take. Uh, so if you're just uploading it to YouTube, then 48,000 is more than good enough. And bit depth uh, 16. This is fine as well. Doesn't really change the audio quality too much. And re resample and stretch quality. You can put it to good or best. Uh, you can put it to best. Honestly, uh, good is just. I, I don't know. I, I find that it doesn't really change the outcome all too much whatsoever. And obviously, we have the recorded files folder once again. And you can just change that to wherever you want, really. Now, ruler right here, you really just need to ignore this. If you fuck it up, then you fuck it up. So just completely ignore this. Uh, summary doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure this just adds. Uh, you can just change this after you've rendered the, uh, the file anyway. So I wouldn't put that in there. And audio CD right here, just to completely ignore that as well. And once you've changed all of these, you can hit apply and then OK. And let's say I'm just going to insert a uh, solid color. And I'm going to go and render it for you guys. So I'm just going to select it and click on render as right here. Now, uh, once you've gone into rendered as right here, we just take a minute to, uh, to load. You'll see all these different settings. Uh, the best one that you're going to want to choose is Magix AVC AAC MP4, which is right here. And uh, you're going to want to click on pretty much any any one of these that says internet. You click on internet HD 1080p 59.94 FPS. So you click on that, customize template, and this will uh, pop up. So make sure these two are ticked. And frame size, if you want to render in 4K, you can pick 3840 by 2160. Uh, but I'm going to render in 2K, which is 2560 by 1440, obviously. Uh, let me just go ahead and enter these. And right here, allow source to just frame size. Make sure that is unticked. Make sure that is unticked. 
Now click on profile. You're gonna want to set it to main and frame rate 60, and uh, uh, allow of source to just frame rate. This would be unticked as well. Uh, field order num progressive scan. There shouldn't be any other option. So yeah, just let that stay as it is. And you can choose pixel aspect ratio here. Uh, definitely select one if you're rendering just normally. And number of reference frames two is very good. I uh, found that it doesn't really change the quality all too much, so you should be fine. Uh, now variable bit rate here, right here. Uh, I would recommend rendering no more than 80 million. So uh, you can just select 80 right here on both of them. Uh, this is obviously going to uh, increase the the file size. However, it does dramatically increase uh, your uh, your render quality like a lot. So make sure you have that. And encode mode, you can choose main concept AVC or NV encoder. Uh, NV encoder is NVIDIA. So, uh, you know, if you have that, you can go ahead and tr play around with these. If you're going to use it, put the preset to high quality and RC mode to uh, VBR. But uh, otherwise, just leave it on AVC and uh, make sure if you're using NV encoder to change the frame rate back to 60. And uh, once you've got all of these, you can head over to the audio and make sure to include audio right here. And sample rate 48,000 hertz and bit rate 192,000. All these are very good. And system right here, uh, just don't change anything here. And you can go over to project right here. Make sure to change vi video rendering quality to best and stereo stop 3D mode to uh, use project settings and color mode or color space to default. And once you've got all of these, you can hit OK and you can render the uh, the video. So yeah, just yeah. Thank you, thank you guys for watching this quick update. Uh, and if you did uh, enjoy the video, make sure you know leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that, all that shit. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And peace.